She survived a nightmare at the hands of a serial rapist from Mexico, a former cop who abused women in his country, then did the same thing in the metro area. Now he'll likely spend the rest of his life in prison thanks to the testimony of a brave woman from Aurora. Karen Morfitt is at the Arapahoe County Courthouse, and Karen, she's hoping her story will encourage other victims to do the same. And encourage, she also encourages those women to report crimes against them. She says that it helps her to talk about what happened. It helps her cope, but she also feels it's important for survivors to hear from other survivors. A guilty verdict doesn't change what happened. It's been more than a year since Caitlin was attacked in her Aurora home. Um, this was October 4th. My son had just woken up from a nap. Um, he was having a snack and watching some cartoons, and I heard a knock on the door. The man at the door, she would later learn, was 25-year-old Ricardo Corral Venegas, a former police officer in Mexico, where local news reports identify him as the motorcycle rapist suspected of barging into homes, raping women, and fleeing on a black and red motorcycle. Pulled a knife on me, and then um, throughout the course of the time that he was in my home, repeatedly sexually assaulted me. After a failed second attack on a woman not far from Caitlin's home, Corral Venegas was arrested and put on trial. As I was leaving the courtroom yesterday after closing arguments, um, he winked at me. It truly was intimidating and it was violating, but at the same time, I'm not, you know, that's not going to stop me from going and telling people this is what happened. Her courage to take the stand and now to share her story publicly, she says, is motivated by more than just putting her attacker away. There are a lot of women all over the world that don't ever get to see their day in court. Coral Venegas is set to be sentenced in March and Caitlin says she plans to be at that hearing. She has a message for him. She says she's not afraid anymore. In Arapahoe County, Karen Morfitt covering Colorado First. Thank you, Karen.